guys and girls, girls and guys, how are we all? Uh, let's start off by saying what a fantastic World Cup final that was last night. Um, in total now, I think I've been to 37 or 38 international matches and I didn't go to that one last night, Argentina, France, but what a game that was. Um, the tickets were going for about six and a half thousand Australian dollars. I wasn't willing to pay it. I did say whoever went through between England and France, I thought we're going to go on and win the World Cup. I was wrong. Uh, Messi's won it. Messi's lifted the trophy and well done to Argentina. Bramos, Argentina. Um, but what a game. Mbappe scoring a hat-trick, not winning a World Cup final, or second one. Um, but scoring a hat-trick in the World Cup, he must be proud of that. Um, what a World Cup it's been. What an absolute amazing World Cup it's been. I have. I went to 19 matches. Uh, I've seen Brazil, I've seen Portugal, I've obviously seen England. Pity about the result with England. I've seen Argentina again. I finally got to see Australia at the World Cup. Uh, I've seen Cameroon, Ghana, Spain, Japan, Germany. I've seen the best players in the world score some fantastic goals. Um, and it's absolutely been, it's been absolutely brilliant. I've loved every single step of the way. Today is my last day and I am gutted to be going home. I'm at the shopping center. I'm gonna do some, a little bit more shopping for the family. It's, I think it's mum's birthday tomorrow um, and get mum a present and my granny's birthday. So I need to get them something nice from Qatar. Um, but what can I say about Qatar? The truth about Qatar, I've loved every single minute of it. Um, Argentina, they were the brilliant, brilliant supporters. And I had a lot of fun with the Argentinians here. And I am happy for Messi. Um, condolences to my French friends. I have many friends, many French friends from when I was in Euros 2016. So a shout out to Nico. Nico, love you, mate. You're still my mate, even though I wore an Argentina shirt. Um, I wore the shirt for Messi. I got given it. Um, when I was doing my washing, I had my Australia shirt on. Argentinian lad, Brian, thank you for the shirt. He says, who are you going for? And I says, oh, I want to see Messi win it now. Messi deserves it. Not for anything else, but purely for football. Football, football, football. That's what it was about for me. I don't care what happened in history. I don't care about Maradona's hand of God. I don't care anything before my time. All I cared about was living in the moment right here, right now in Qatar. Um, Sky News come out this morning. And again, they were carrying on about their political crap. Um, talked about the rainbow armbands um, the LGBTQ community plus whatever and how many other alphabet letters they want um, they would have been welcome to come here they would have been absolutely welcome if they weren't passion on or holding hands walking down the street they would have been absolutely welcome to come to Qatar um, and the Qataris have even said that like no one would have cared what happens behind closed doors I think um, yeah, you could have, they, they, could, they could have came here. So um, I think Sky, Sky News or BBC News, those sort of people have got a lot to answer for. Like, look at Argentina, how good their fan base was, how brilliant their atmosphere was with Argentina. And then look at England. Like, that was probably the worst turnout in three World Cups for England fans, in my opinion. Um, all because they had the wrong impression of coming to Qatar. All because... They listen to too too much stuff on the media. You know, if I'd listened to too much stuff in the media back in Australia, um, I would never have come to Qatar if I'd listened to all the crap that they were saying. You know, look at Germany, they come out like this. They're the first, and they played brilliant, but they come out with the wrong attitudes. For that one month of your life, forget about the politics. Do not bring politics into football. Who cares about this? I know football is on the world stage, and they do put in a political motive or some sort of motive in the background there, but it's got to stop. It's got to stop the armbands. Harry Kane, you're there to play football, man. You cared too much about an armband. You didn't care about winning the World Cup. And that's why Argentina went through and won, man. They couldn't care about anything else. All they cared about was that trophy. And until the FA stopped being little political puppets on a string, um, I don't think England's gonna win anything. They need to cut the crap, really cut it, cut the political stuff out of football and just focus on the football. That would be my message. I could push if we could get it. 
yeah, that would be my message. Cut the cut the political stuff in football. Like, win the World Cup, win the World Cup, win the World Cup. That's all I care about is living living in the moment, embracing the moment, embracing Qatar. Um, I've learned about I learn a lot more about the the religion of Islam. Stuff I never you know I never cared much about in my life growing up in Australia, predominant you know Christian and Catholic society. But I've come here with an open mindset and. I respected everybody. Um, I respected everybody. I've had many conversations with people, and the common denominator in life is everyone wants to look after their wife, their kids, and their families. And football brings that together. Um, but what separates it are the people that are in control um, and the people that are pushing those political motives. So once that stops, um, I think England will do a lot better. Um, to Qatar and the Qatari government and the Emir and everything else that happened here prior to the World Cup and all the negative press, we can't help. I, me as just a normal citizen can't help that stuff. But at least I can promote how good the place was and I've loved it and I think it's a great hub and I'd be more than happy to bring Lauren back here um, for a holiday. I think it's a little a little hidden gem. Absolutely. Hey. Oh, and we're playing. I'm playing football tonight as well. I've got a seven aside, or oh, eleven aside. My calf's six aside. My, my calf's a lot better now. So yeah, big look. Big thank you to Qatar. Um, I would n never got to the bottom of the human rights issue or people passed away, but there is people in Bangladesh, uh, Pakistan, India, um, Nepal that have been watching my videos and subscribing and sharing the videos. If you, did, if you did have family members that did pass away on the building of these stadiums or anything else in Qatar, um, I send my condolences to your families. It would, wouldn't have been very nice, but it was made this, it made this World Cup very possible and it's the best World Cup for football. But I don't think we're ever going to get a better World Cup for the football. So I put all the rest of the stuff to the side and focus on the football, 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 football. It's been absolutely brilliant, absolutely amazing. So um, thank yous for allowing me to, to come here and, and enjoy this tournament for what it was. And for me, it was just football, football, football. I've seen Messi lift the trophy. Um, yeah, and obviously thanks to Lauren for letting me come on holiday for a month. Thanks to Christina from Belladur AFC for booking my flights. Um, and thanks to all the lovely people that I've met along the way. Mubarak, my mate, the copper, that was staying at the first place where I was staying. Um, yeah, thanks to Abdul for, you know, showing me around and, and showing me the city and driving me around and helping me and take me to the mosque and take me to the museums. And Dino for letting me stay tonight, last night and, and Mark. And, it, oh, mate, I've had a, a great time and, you know, and I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I've even, you know... For those that said you couldn't have booze, I drank tequila and Guinness together, and that's a, uh, it's not a bad mix. I did face plant it, a fold of my own. So, no, just a big massive thank you to Qatar. Um, I went to 19 matches. It's, and thanks to everyone that's liked and subscribed and shared my videos. Um, the reason I started this YouTube was purely because I wanted to talk about football, 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 and I didn't care about none of the crap that Sky Sports or Fox Sports or BBC, what they were putting out and all that propaganda. Because um, I, I knew when I got here, I would prove a fact of how good Qatar was. Um, and for me, it ticked all the boxes. So big thank you very much. I enjoyed every single minute, <clears throat> every single minute of it. And I'm gutted to be going home tonight, but I am looking forward to seeing the family for Christmas and New Year's. So. Again, thank you, Qatar, and thank you to everyone I've met along the way. And thanks to everyone for sharing the videos and subscribing. Um, yeah, it's really opened my eyes up to the world, and I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. That's all more I need to say. Thank you.